Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the game control. So first of all, we want to make sure that uh, Windows is properly set up. So the first thing that you need to search for is your game mode. So right game mode, click on it. Make sure that game mode is at off, really important. Also the game bar, you don't want to use it, so make sure that it's at off. And all those capture stuff, make sure everything is at off. Uh, background recording, recording audio and stuff like that. Everything should be at off, really important. The uh, other thing that I'm using is the uh, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner for the past six months. Uh, I saw a lot of issue with the Purge Standby List with Windows. If you have less than 16 gig of RAM, that's a really good tool for you. It's pretty light, you just download it, it will purge your standby list automatically and you can also do it manually. Uh, you don't have any bloat uh, or virus in this software, it's pretty clean. It's the guy who did DDU, so you can go at warn yourself and you will see uh, the software. But I will also put the link in my uh, video description. So now, the game. Uh, we will start with the uh, graphic parameter inside of the game and after that we will go in the config file. Really important thing here, when you launch the game, you have two choices, DirectX 11 and 12. I know a lot of people are, are always confused with that, they don't know which one to use. I did a lot of testing and with my 2070, that's an RTX card, and I'm not even talking about uh, all those ray tracing stuff, I'm just talking about you're just running the game without any ray tracing. I'm getting 35 FPS more with DirectX 11 if I compare with 12. So don't use 12. I got stuttering, a lot of issue, losing FPS. So the first thing that you need to do to boost your FPS, make sure that you play DirectX 11. So now let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, um, let's start with the display parameter. Everything is pretty much here. So make sure that you're playing this game in full screen. Uh, I did a couple of tests, Borderless and Window, and you lose like 1-2% to 2 of your FPS when you're using those display mode. So make sure that you're using full screen. The other thing that you need to do is to uh, use the um, resolution that you normally play. For me, I'm just playing 1080p because I have a 1080p monitor with 144 Hz screen. But for sure, after all the changes I will show you, if you still don't get your uh, 60 FPS, for example, uh, you will probably need to lower your resolution. If you don't have access to the NVIDIA DLSS and you want to test it, this one is all just working in uh, DirectX 12. So it's pretty much the same thing with uh, ray tracing. Uh, I did a couple of tests. Yeah, you're getting more FPS, but honestly, I prefer the game in the DirectX 11. It's more clear. I feel like DirectX 12, I'm, my game is blurry when I'm playing it. So uh, yeah. I just play DirectX 11. Uh, I'm not using VSync because I want to uh, un uh, un not uncheck. <laughs> I want to unlock uh, my FPS, so I want to maximize it. So after that, quality. So first of all, far object detail. This one is really important. You will get 3% for each bracket. So for for sure, if you have like a low end GPU and integrate video card, you should definitely put this one at low. Uh, if you have like a decent computer, mid range, you can put this one at medium. Texture, you can play at ultra. It depends on your VRAM. So if you have more than four gig, go at ultra. If you have uh, three gig, go with high. If you have two gig, go with medium. And if you have less than two gig, go with low. After that, texturing, filtering. Normally with texturing, filtering, you, you, you match your um, texturing resolution depending again with your video card. So if you go ultra or high, go with high. If you go medium, go medium. And if you go low with your texture resolution, go with low here. Shadow resolution, those one, even the volumetric lighting, those one are huge for FPS. For air, it's 5% for each bracket. So if you go low with shadow resolution and low with filtering, you will get like a crazy amount of FPS, 15 to 20% uh, of increase. So this one is huge. So if you're near your 60 and you just want to play 60, just start with shadow at low. And uh, honestly, it will help you a lot. Volumetric lighting, same thing. They have like some really nice effect in this game, but it's taking a lot of resources. So volumetric lighting, it's 4% for each bracket. So again, if you need more FPS, lower this one. Huge impact on your uh, graphic parameter. 
Uh, after that, screen space, um, but you, you can, and the occlusion for sure, you can uncheck it. This one will give you 2% of increase. And the screen space reflection quality, I didn't see a huge improvement, honestly. It's like 2% for each one. So even on a low end rig, you can definitely put this one at medium, no problem. Global reflection, all the reflection in this game, they, and they have a lot of reflection. So if you see that your game is normally, um, you're, you have like a pretty decent FPS when you walk and stuff, and when you're fighting and you, when you see some reflection, you're getting a lot of drop in your FPS, for sure the global reflection will be a, a graphic pioneer that you'll need to change. And when you put this one off, it's crazy. The game is getting real smooth and uh, you're getting also more fps like five to six percent depending where you are in the map so this one can help you a lot if you feel that you have a lot of stuttering and a level of random drop so this one for sure after that you have the ray tracing option again uh you can you can't touch it right now because uh, you need to activate Di direct x12 uh honestly uh they did a really good job because you're, you you can activate stuff uh, you don't have to use everything, but uh, even on my 2070, honestly, it's not smooth. And also, I stream with my video card, and my video card got overload on the encoder side of it. So, uh, when I was using ray tracing, so I'm not using it. But again, you can definitely touch some parameter here. So now the config file. Uh, to see your config file, it's in the where you install the game. So for me, what's is in the D drive. Control and after open renderer double click on this so now you have all the options that you see in the game but you have more stuff that you can change for an example um what do you have effect quality that was not in the game you can change it foliage quality here so you can lower other stuff that uh you didn't have any um any option in the game and it will help you a lot so uh even volume light quality here it's not the same that the volumetric one so if you have a couple of stuff so just do all your um, main uh, setting inside of the game after that open your uh, notepad and look at what you still have at one or two uh, so it's because zero mean low or off so if you see some two it's because and you put everything at low it's stuff that you can improve to get more fps so that's about it guys if you have any questions just come in the youtube section Post me any question about like DirectX 12, 11, and also really important mention me your ring, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.